Hello, brothers and sisters. You are welcome back to my channel. You know, Emmanuel Nogues of the Amazing World Ministries has responded to Pastor James of Kenhorst SDA Church. And uh, Emmanuel posted this on YouTube and said that beware of Kenhorst SDA Church false advertisement about Emmanuel Nogues. So the question is, what is going on between these two pastors? We are going to get right into it. So if you are interested, I would encourage you to keep watching and don't go anywhere, all right? Now, let's get into the video. Some few days ago, Pastor James, this pastor, made a YouTube video about Emmanuel Nogues concerning this. No, we it's will talk today. Go, 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 so why do you sleep go, with our women go, 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 when you have legal go, go, wife on the Sabbath? Now, the video I just showed you was an allegation made by some people against Emmanuel Nogues. And this allegation includes issues about his ex-wives, you know, there is a report that Emmanuel Nogues married about six women, so some people thought that he was in the practice of marriage fraud. And what do I mean by marriage fraud? You know, he marries you, enjoys your money, enjoys your love, enjoys your everything, then he throws you away for another woman. Now, friends, I think in one of his videos, Emmanuel came on YouTube and apologized to all that he hurt in the past. And I think his video was referring to the woman that came into his life. I wanted to come out and to apologize and ask for forgiveness for those that I have hurt in the past, uh, in my past relationships, for anything that I have done directly or indirectly to anyone all right so friends that was emmanuel apologizing on youtube but there is a problem with this particular video you know emmanuel Nogues likes using matthew chapter 18 verse 15 and what does it say it says moreover if your brother sins against you go and Tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. So this verse is talking about how to solve issues um, between brothers. All right. If I have issue with you, the Bible tells me that I should come to you and solve the issue. If you have issue with me, the Bible says, come to me in person and let's solve our issue. The Bible never tell us that um, in solving issue with brothers, we should come on social media and make our apology. That is not what the Bible teaches. So um, I found this video not to be in line with the Bible. That is it. I'm not criticizing anybody, but you know, we are going according to what the Bible says. And as a preacher, I think he knows this verse very well. Now, friends, back to the allegation. You know, the many allegations against Emmanuel Nogues also included fraud activities. Wow, I, I don't believe this, but um, hmm, I don't know. But let's watch this video. Um, we want to address the matter of the funds that he's been taking. First of all, the billboard project. That was that he said we're gonna put out in the UK, which we did. I fund I funded him personally plus others. We I gave him um, in December twenty second. On twenty second December twenty twenty, I gave Emmanuel Nugas twenty fifteen thousand, and you can see here. To his PayPal account, his mm -hmm. uh, to his Lagnia Nugas. That's what he has on his. Um, it, it, you go to pay, his PayPal account. It's not Amazing World Ministry or uh, Emmanuel. He has it in his middle name, Lagnia Nugas. 
Anyway, he got 15,000. That was the first to start of the billboard project. And then thereafter, in February, he got another 7,000 plus, as you can see there. And of course, in the name of Lagnier, that's paid to Lagnier and Nuguez. These are from, that's for the billboard project only. Now, the billboard project was started in February 2020 and it ended in August. We were driving across with um, uh, uh, Sister Sylvia and uh, Brother Ricky in the car on the A46 where the billboard was and I noticed it was taken down. This was back in October, unknown to us. So I said, what's happened here? He said, oh, he wasn't paid for. Now, he had the money we gave him, that's with me alone, plus many others, to fund the billboard project. Now, this is a deception. How can we give him money to fund this project and it's not been funded? It's taken down. It's gone. It's no more, you, there's no more billboard project in the UK. And brothers and I want to let you know, do not give any more money because there's no thing at all about the billboard project. That's number one. Number two, I remember you, the, there was a video about the RV that he supposedly uh, have to minister around the whole US. This was back in 12th of April 2021, last year. Now, this we get, we, I gave him 5,500, it was a total of 10,000 for the RV project. Now he's been away from America for almost over a year. Where is the, where is the RV? Where is the videos of the, he said it's the, the, the other um, missionary are doing ministering work around the USA. We have no proof of that. This is God's money. We are giving this out of our hard work you want to support God's work. Not, not, not a penny. We don't know what happened to that and accountability has to be given. That's number two. There's another with a camera. He, uh, um, when he came to the UK, I asked him about the camera. I gave him 7,000 towards the video camera. When I asked him, where is the camera? There it is. Two, t two payments of 3,500 each twice on April 2021. There is no camera. The camera he didn't, he said um, he had to leave it because, and, and then he brought another camera. 7,000 pounds to do quality work for God's work and there's no camera. That's three. Now, this, he has been given money, that's from me alone. He collected tens and tens of thousands from the few people around the world. I've spoke to a few of the members that get donated to him. But the thing about it, it needs to go towards his um, doing God's work, which is not. In total, in one year, Emmanuel collected from me 68,000 US. 68,000 total. We've got all the receipts, we're all here. So friends, after discussing this video on his YouTube channel, Pastor James asked the question, are all these allegations against Emmanuel true or the people are just spreading false accusations against him? I wanted to come out and to apologize and ask for forgiveness for those that I have heard in the past. It may be that the people are just spreading lies about him and also it may be that all the allegations are true now on after pastor james made his video about emmanuel no gaze and his various allegations emmanuel um came and responded to pastor james as you could see uh some have already told me uh he quickly put a video video out and say hey Pastor Nuguez have agreed to uh, to join him. This is propaganda. Those are individuals uh, who are in ministry not because God 
has called them, but they try to gain uh, popularity, uh, support, uh, people. They're trying to build their uh, YouTube channels, for example. And that is one of the reasons why they have monetized, which is an abomination. Um, he said whatever he wanted to say, and that was it. Pastor James believed that Emmanuel is not credible. So people should stop following him. That is what he believes. I don't know what you believe about Emmanuel. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Sorry for my voice. Um, see you next time.